It's low value mail time with your host, Danny Polishchuk. What up, Danny Polishchuk? Riley, how's it going, man? Yeah, I was uh, being a lazy piece of shit. My phone is at one percent. Oh, that's me oh, that's cool. That. I thought honestly, I because I called you because you left me a message. And then you hung up. I didn't realize. And then I was like, it went straight to voicemail. I was like, this motherfucker block me. <laughs> no. I thought you thought it was like maybe um like a you know car, a car car warranty. Yeah, extended car warranty, all that bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. auto insurance or some shit. Exactly. Anyways, we we got you through here. How's it going, Riley? Good man. I think I called you the other day. Yeah, you I called me I... last. I I so just full disclosure. I don't know if you you're, I don't know if you're watching the episode tonight, but I went to play the thing like the the because you know it has like the visual uh, voicemail, and then I, and then you started saying your number, and I was like, oh shit, and then I stopped it. So your number, I did not dox you, Riley, but people could probably <laughs> with ten thousand tries guess your number. So for that, I apologize. If in case oh, that's all good. I work with cell phones anyway. So oh, okay. Who cares anyway? Bit of a hacker. No. Say what? I said a bit, a bit of, of a hacker. hacker. Yeah, you know, not. not really. So I think I called you because the crazy next door neighbor situation. But I think I was it a crazy. I think it was something it. about a chick, or is it yeah, a crazy it next door neighbor who's a chick? Yeah, a crazy next door neighbor is a chick. All right, will not leave me alone. Okay, so you have how old are you, Riley? I am in thirty-two next month. Nice. Okay, so you're thirty-two years old. You have a crazy next door neighbor. Mm-hmm. You live in like an apartment building. Complex? Though? Yeah, it's like a the, this shitty apartment complex in the small town in Northern California. Yeah. It's pretty, okay. So every interaction, like it's just every five minutes, just can I borrow this? Can I have you help you do this? Kind of like damsel in distress business treats. And this bitch is crazy. I have no, I have to learn how to be a jerk. And I think the past week I've learned to be a jerk. So, and so you have no romantic interest in her? Not one bit. So is she, I mean, are, selection. It, yeah, so is basically what's going on is she kind of is just like I'm a woman, so she demands kind of like is that how she comes off? I'm just trying to get yeah, a better like, picture it, here. Well, the, not only that, she just like buys like she paid my internet bill last month. She paid your no internet, internet bill. In yeah, paid my internet bill. Why? Just so she could have the internet. But why didn't she just get her own internet? Like she wants to split the internet, basically. Yeah. Like so, she she's coming at it as like, hey, let's split internet. Why would the two of us each have internet? Yeah, and then she's like, oh, can you watch my daughter? And oh, can I leave watch you your so much in my house? What? Yes, like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it, 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 it's red, it's like red flag city. I mean, yes, but red flag city that pertains to a woman that you're trying to have relations with. This is you're saying this is just your neighbor. I mean, yeah. you gotta put some boundaries down here. Be like, look, yo, I'm your neighbor. Like, we can we agreed to split a uh, internet bill. Doesn't mean I want to fucking like <laughs> watch your kids. Have you ever watched her kid? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, I'm like I'm not the person to watch the kids. If you come to my house, it's like a, like is she trying to make Barney you a Gumbel's stepdad? Apartment. Is she trying to make exactly? You, but like, do you, uh, like, do you the think real she's dad went to jail? But do you think she's into you? I have no idea, but I it, it, it bugs me. It's creepy. Just the constant, never-ending text messages and messages. Oh damn! It sounds it sounds like you've kind of gone too far. Like it's so from the sounds of it, and I can kind of relate to this. Is you probably mm -hmm. like you? I'll be nice, mm -hmm. and then she kind of exactly. took advantage, and now it's gone too far. Where the only thing you can really do is not be not nice. You kind yeah, of yeah. I almost feel like moving to Mexico. This shit's crazy. <laughs> I wouldn't move to Mexico. Have you considered Boise, Idaho, our last caller? You know what? I love Boise, Idaho. Dude, someone from like our... this, um, part of California. It's kind of funny. It's like the only conservative part of California. It's the middle of nowhere in a desert where there's a prison town. Yeah. Well, someone, but... the previous caller, same deal, California, but he was from Santa Barbara, I think he said. And he's like, I had to get out and he moved to Boise, Idaho. He says the shit. Oh, you can't do it. I, I moved literally from the same county as Santa Barbara County. Because I had three jobs and I could, I had like nine roommates. It's fucking ridiculous. That's a lot of roommates. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I hear what you're saying. You know, you just draw some boundaries and. Move I would to Boise, start. Well, Idaho. I would def. No, I would not move to Boise, Idaho. First off, what I would be doing <laughs> is, you have to start putting in a solid concerted buffer time for answering texts. So I don't know how often do you, how quickly do you respond when she texts you? 
Usually immediately, but the last week I've just ignored yeah, yeah. So, it, and I, it's just work, it's worked beautifully. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. So you you see, it sounds like you're starting here, but what you need to do depends on you know how much of a message you're trying to send. If you want to go like the scorched earth message, you just don't reply back at all, which it sounds like you're doing. If you want to kind of the scorched leave, earth policy is great. Yeah, yeah. So, so it sounds like you kind of figure this out. I would just and then if she does text you again. You know, you got you really want to take some time in between texts just to let her know that this is like a priority zero level. Um, mm-hmm. And then, you know, I guess. And so the only tie to her that you really have is your Internet bill. Even the fact that she lives next door to me. I wish I just could just move apartments and this would just be a non-issue. I just, yeah. It's like the creepy neighbor situation. Why do, when's your lease up? I have no lease. I can move. I just. But do you have like? Are you just, pretty settled? The moving sucks, though. To move over this doesn't seem um, necessary. Yeah. yeah. If anything, you would want to kind of entice her to move in some capacity. Maybe you could like. Are you good with Photoshop? I'm not really. Do you have any it's friends who are good with Photoshop? Terrible. I would say yes. maybe um, set up. You remember that publisher's clearinghouse thing where they would have those commercials where someone in a van came and gave you a check? Yes. So. I think you could probably make up one of those checks for maybe like a hundred dollars. I don't know what your budget's like for something like this. <laughs> make up one of those checks, put her name on it, rent a van. It's probably you're in for a one fifty. Maybe hire an actor on Craigslist, could get one of those for free. You need a cameraman, that's another hundred, maybe two hundred. And then convince her that she won some sort of lottery, even though it's not real, but give her the giant check and then uh hopefully she'll move. That's that's kind of off the top of my head, I think. You want to kind of get her to move, it sounds like, versus, because why do you want to move, right? Well, the, well actually, I, this apartment is shit, but you know what? Uh, I, I like that idea. Why should I have to move? I like this. This is fucking sick. But also, if you're, saying, but if you're saying that your apartment kind of sucks, then maybe this, uh-huh. is, this will be the good kind of, you know, maybe you're just getting comfortable and, you know, you don't want to move because it's a pain in the ass, but if you can find, maybe there's a better apartment out there. With less crazy, you know. Actually, I kind of thinking about moving to Reno because fucking I live in this little shit city, like in California, is near Reno. And I yeah, just like, went to Reno. Yeah, they, go they, to they Reno. Just make more money. Wait, there's Reno more money to be made in Reno for you? Yeah. So why wouldn't you move in Reno? Do you have lots of friends there? No, I mean it's close enough. It's an hour and a half where all my people are. So fucking why not? And how far is Reno to all your people? Like an hour and a half. So it's the same thing. Yeah, but there's more money in Reno. Yeah, dude, they have a te- dude, Reno actually went from a piece of shit city to actually pretty cool. They have like opening up a Tesla. Yeah. They have like, yeah, they got, like f- all the tech companies are moving there because it's cheaper because California fucked off and yeah, because I shit. know, I know. So you should move to dude. It sounds like you should fucking move to Reno. I don't know where you live, but it sounds like you don't really like it very much and you're you're kind of indifferent and just comfortable. But you know, sometimes um, as someone who has moved to a different country, someone says there's no taxes in Nevada. Uh, someone else said, yeah, Reno is popping too, Austin. Um, sounds like a lot of people are saying you should probably just move to Reno. I mean, do you I have a lot of shit? To Reno. You got a lot of shit? Like personal possessions? No, actually, I'm just, I just started working with like selling cell phones and shit. So fucking, I can work at different stores and fucking Reno seems to be where it's at. Yeah, do it, man. How old are you? Fucking 32. 32. Yeah, that's fine. I moved to America <laughs> when I was 35. There's no reason yeah, why you can't move to a, Reno. No end to it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I think I was just needed a push to just get my ass out of this town because if you look up the town I live, it's Susanville, California. It's yeah. notably Prison Town, USA. There's 17,000 people live in the town and 8,000 were locked up. That sounds like shitty. And you're not even from there? No. So why'd you move there in the first place? Because the rent's so goddamn cheap. Oh, you just, you basically were like, uh, you found a place that had cheap rent. But the thing is, yes, rent is cheap, but if you're making less money at your job, you could probably go somewhere that's more fun to live, work the same job, and pay a similar portion of your salary as rent and live somewhere cooler. Yeah, I think Reno's the place. I mean, I'm fucking, you know, I think you answered all my questions. I Dude, think, uh, move. It sounds like we have a solution to your problems. I'm glad you called me back. You're moving to Reno. Someone just said Susanville sucks. And I think that's from the guy who moved to Boise. Susanville sucks. Someone really said that. Yes, yeah, Susanville sucks. Valley people. That's what he says. Susanville sucks. Valley people. Wow. Okay, dude. You know what? Thank you, Danny. I appreciate the call, man. I think yep. you really corrected. Uh, dude, move to you, Reno. You gave me some direction. Dude, move to Reno. Call us back when you move to Reno. And let us know how it's going. I appreciate it, Danny. You have a, a excellent rest of the program. You too, man. Take care. Right? Appreciate it.